Hey there, Jeff Mayer. Hope you guys are having a great day today. There's your video lesson. Three things I want to talk about. I'll go down that list. If you have questions at the end or let me look at anything, feel free to shoot a message on over and I will do my best to answer. Let's get to it. So first thing is building off what we've done for the last uh, few lessons, uh, which is getting our ring finger to behave itself and to uh, play nice and relaxed and no excess tension. Um, and so we'll work on some buzzy D's. So what we'll do first, if you want to, I'm sure Mayor likes doing this, is drawing those little dots on the tips of his fingers to give him something to concentrate on or uh, use to aim for his dot. So draw those dots on there, especially that ring finger, and bring it up to the guitar, and we'll keep our mouse hole, and, and place that ring finger right there on the on the uh, on that note D right there. We're just going to, be going to touch the string, and what we're going to focus on is making sure that that tunnel doesn't collapse right here. So we keep a nice tall ring finger, and we slowly push down. I use the visual of you might, you, know, you might see me do it in here. We go, but we could buzzy fly is flying around, and it lands on our finger, and it pushes our finger down just a little bit till we get from a. There she is, in that buzzy finger, right? Gentle, gentle. Fly walks over here. Um, you know what happens is that, say for example, if the note doesn't sound the way the student wants to, for this, they all do it, is they'll start doing this. They start ripping at the ripping with the right hand and that causes this to press and this is a press and everything crunches down. So as soon as like, and it, the problem isn't even over here or like, it's, it could be like a left hand thing where it's like, they're not just putting it right in the right string. And they'll, it's like, like this will happen sometimes where they'll, they'll intend to play the, the second string, but they fret at the third string by accident. Like, why is it not sounding good? And I'm gonna press harder with my plucking hand till it rings. And it's, it's weird. It, it, it doesn't work that way. So the best thing to do if that starts happening, just have him drop his hands, let's just reset, shake it out, and then bring it back up again, and see if you can get that buzzy to ring out. Right. And then, um, yeah, on a wax on, wax off. It's 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 good to know the thing you're supposed to do, then do that thing 10,000 times. Um, is the name of the game with, with, uh, with this sort of thing. So knowing what to do correctly, understanding that, doing it once, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do, and then do that thing a lot of times. So it's not blind repetitions, but repetitions with a purpose. Um, number two is uh, Cuckoo. I, I could swear I taught this to him last time. I went to my notes, I didn't see it there, but I could swear I taught it to him. Um, and so that one is a refresh, I'm like 99% sure I taught it to him last time. It's just not my notes for some reason. Um, so for this one is the Cuckoo Hide and Seek game, which is that Cuckoo, where are you? Here I am, here I am. So with that one, um, the idea behind this tune, uh, the pedagogical reason behind the tune, is to get the finger, get the student used to having the finger on, off, on, off, and resetting that without having to go through the whole, okay, bring it up, make sure you're on the tip of your finger, bring it down. Okay. So with this one, uh, I would first off going, coo, coo, just simply that. Once that happens consistently, then you do the, where are you? I find it helpful with this, I can't remember if I told you last time, that, that Twinkle's kind of like such a long process. It helps us to have a bunch of smaller miles, especially at his age, to have a bunch of small milestones kind of like in between that, because Twinkle could take a, you know, could take a while to get the complete thing down. And it's nice to have, like, he might have four or five of these little, like, couple of note songs that he has under his belt. Um, this repertoire he can play for family and friends. So, Cuckoo. First of all, start with that. Don't go any further than that unless he's got that down. And it's, where are you? And you can take your guitar. I think you said you play guitar. Um, you can take your guitar and do the hide and seek game. So you can walk around going, cuckoo, where are you? And then Mayor would go, here I am, here I am. And then what Mayor could do, since he so we're not quite playing it quite yet, but for him to participate in the, the seeking part is you can have him go coo coo. Have him try to have him sing on pitch. Can you sing this back to you know, can you sing this back to me? Coo, oh, coo 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 minor third. It's really important for ear training. So um, so do that for me for this week. And then the last thing is the Twinkle Surprise. Um, he did a great job knowing his same or different, so I think it's time to take the next step, which is, can you match what I just did? So you have like, it could be four, it could be four, actually, in the beginning you can make it just like two things, you can one or two things. It's either gonna be my G string or my B string, right? You might have to have it go down to that, that level. Where you're, okay, it's gonna be G string or B string. Which one is it? You play, and he plays both things, like, okay, which one's the right one? 
Okay, and then he will tell you. Um, and then you usually just build it out. So now the next round, is it this, is it D, or is it G? All right, give him two options. If he can handle two options, okay, then you can build it out from there, like three options. If you can handle three options, then give him four, and so on and so forth. Um, so I would do this, which one is the next one, which one's this one? And he finds, and goes, great, now let's put those in order. So, all right, now the next one, is it is it B, or is it E? This one here match great. What's that? Let's put them all together. Oh my God, it's Twinkle! Yay! And then we have a um, then we have our Twinkle surprise. So work on those three things for me. Um, uh, I'll probably follow up next week with like a review of this as well. Um, if you have questions, let me know. If not, I will send another video next week, and then I'll see you the following. Bye.